Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. Hope everything's going well in your neck of the woods. So today, um, I'm going to try another one of these benchmark um, bottles, which is, this is the small batch, which is 90 proof expression. Recent, I, you know, I enjoy the Oh my gosh, there we go. <laughs> I enjoy the 80 proof regular old number eight brand of Benchmark. I enjoyed a bit that uh, full proof. That was what, 125 proof. This is 90 proof. Um, so comes from Buffalo Trace. It is their Buffalo Trace mash bill number one. So it's the same mash bill as Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare. So I'm curious to see if this tastes anything like Eagle Rare or Buffalo Trace Bourbon. <laughs> I doubt it's really a small batch. It's probably, you know, and I don't know. Anyway, this, I think this cost me around $12 down in Kentucky. I haven't really seen it here in Ohio, but you know, whatevs. <laughs> so that's about all I know of it on it is 90 proof, Mashable 1. I don't know the age statement. I'm assuming it's going to be at least three years. I mean, the, the old number eight benchmark is a three-year-old bourbon, or that's the age statement. Um, now, I say that because, and I've said this in other videos, the age statement on a bottle of bourbon is going to be what the youngest barrel's age is. So when you buy a bottle of bourbon, unless it says it's a single barrel, it's a blend of different barrels of bourbon. So some could be five years old, some of the barrels could be six years old, but whatever the youngest barrel age is, is what's on the bottle. And it could just be that on this small batch yeah it could be they just take different barrels from different like the youngest on another batch could be a four-year-old uh, barrel so they're not committing to an age statement but anyway let's get to it let's get to it and uh you know nice standard bourbon color like a butterscotchy caramel color. Getting a bit of malt on that. But it smells, I mean, it smells nice. It doesn't smell like a cheap bourbon. So let's see what we got. <laughs> As I say in, pre in other videos, it's the hood ornament. I don't get a lot of those smells that other people get. Uh, let's check the taste. Wow. Hmm. I haven't had bourbon for a few days, so getting that bourbon <laughs> going down there, down the old gullet. But it is very sweet up front. It's got a nice warm, warm spiciness to it. Um, but really, when I say sweet, you know, it's not like sugary sweet. Bourbony sweet. I'm getting a, a caramelly butterscotch on the front end. That nice sweetness on it. Um, it's really smooth and mellow. It's a... It's not Eagle Rare. Definitely not. It's probably more, it's kind of, to me, it's a cross between Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare. So if I took like maybe a shot of each of those and put it in a glass and tried it out, it'd probably be similar to what this is. But, you know, for the price point, I think, like I said, around 12 bucks. That is a really nice bourbon. It's definitely several steps above 
like your Jim Beam. Um, even my beloved, <laughs> very old Barton, to me, this is better than the very old Barton, but I may have to do some sort of a, uh, a taste test comparison on that. But really nice. I mean, I rarely even do this. Just another little, little taste of that. Nice, that is so good. It's, I got that sweetness. I got a little bit of a spice to it. It does, to me, have a little bit of that, like, um, a medicine. I bet, Best way I can describe it, a very slight, maybe, Listerine taste to it. Um, but that's the alcohol, obviously. But all in all, a really nice bourbon. If... If I was given this as a gift and I didn't know anything about bench, if I didn't know much about bourbon and someone gave this to me and if I enjoyed bourbon already, I would just, I would think that would might be like a $30 bourbon right there. Um, to me, I, I like it. I'll have to just do a, this up against Eagle Rare and, and Buffalo Trace, because this is a really nice bourbon to me. Um, regardless of price, you know, something that's really cool. Um, you know, and while people are hunting down even other Buffalo Trace products, hunting down buff here in Ohio, you can't really find Buffalo Trace. Um, you can't really find Eagle Rare. You can't, where's, where's my, where is he? They're up there somewhere. I, I tried, I regrouped everything. So, you know, it's, uh, they're probably, over, they're over there. They're out of camera range. But if I, if I put this up against those other two, I vent their venture to say this may come up on top with those other 90 proof Buffalo Trace um, bourbons. But hey, stay tuned. I may just do that. So my recommendation, if you if you are looking for a budget bourbon, budget meaning something nice but under twenty dollars, and you see this, I would definitely grab it. Um, it's not hot like the foolproof, and I do look forward to next time I'm out of state um, finding a couple of more, a couple of more of these, maybe one of the bondeds or. Um, yeah, the bonded and the single barrels are what people definitely recommend, but nothing wrong with that small batch. So there you go. Short and sweet. We'll leave it there. <laughs> so until next time, it's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. I hope your next pour is your best pour. We'll catch you soon, and thank you so much for watching. Hey everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.